I'm a lover of the visual arts and I've been going to museums uh, my whole life. As I understand it, the purpose of an art museum is to sort of document, to preserve the history of the conversation in the visual arts. So you can see different periods of that conversation, the Renaissance and the Impressionists and Post-Impressionists and the uh, Cubists and pop art, etc. If you are an artist, you go to the museum to pay your respects to those who have gone before you, to know what the conversation is. But the best use of being at the museum is that you leave the museum inspired to go make art, to contribute to the, the unfolding of the story. Something similar to that is our relationship with the gathered community and the, the history that's been preserved about the life and teachings of Jesus and, and um, 20 centuries of the church is those things are preserved, that story is preserved, and we remember together. But the goal of remembering, of having rituals and sacred spaces is to, that we get inspired to live into that story ourselves. To, to contribute our part of the, the ongoing story of God and God's kingdom. One of those places tends to be very refined and structured and um, ritualized and, and safe and clean. But the artist's studio is messy. There's junk piled up and there's conversation and the salon and the wrestling with ideas and the experimenting and things like that. And I think that if there's a growth edge for the church, it's the studio, the garage, the warehousing, you know, the warehouse experiments that contribute to the ongoing story of, of God and God's kingdom.